going to start with a little Google example. So uh, we're going to search for BlackBerry. And we search for BlackBerry. Actually, what we want is BlackBerry Jam. So what I'm going to do is I am going to ask for it to go BlackBerry Jam. It's going to bring us some BlackBerry Jam. But, uh, and we can still see uh, all kinds of apps. So what I want to do here to kind of get rid of those apps is we're going to minus mobile. So there we go. So how it's searching, it's actually still got a couple of those apps in it. Um, so we'll also go minus app because we don't want apps. And we'll refine our search. As you can see, those app things are gone away. So what this does is it detracts, uh, it, it minuses those features from your search. So you're going to have a lot more options. So maybe I want Blackberry Jam or Preserves as well. So what this is going to do, it's going to search for Blackberry and Jam. So Blackberry Jam or Blackberry Preserves. And it's going to take out mobile and app. So as you can see, I've got tons of recipes for Blackberry Jam here. So we're going to go into the search box here, and we're going to search for education. I'm into education. And we want to make sure there's uh, also some technology in there. And then we also want to make sure that we get links. So um, as you can see below here, HTTP is usually behind almost all links on Twitter. So that's what I like to use to justify links. So what I'm really looking for is education and technology and HTTP. So it's forcing the search engine to find all of those elements in my search. So I'm just gonna click search. And we're gonna see here um, that I'm gonna get all kinds of, so six technologies that will shape education. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, you can see that a lot of them are the same tweet, as you can see, because it's a good tweet. Um, it's also gonna find me people who tweet about education. So if I wanted to click through to these people's profiles, I could follow them. They talk about education, and that's quite interesting. Um, so here's the original tweet about the uh, and the five technological changes. Very interesting. Uh, Adobe Air and the HP Slate technology integration in education. So that'd be interesting as well. Um, this one looks like a keyword uh, slam, which means someone's using trying to put all the keywords they can into something. Um, but that might be interesting. So let's just take this one. We're going to go and check it out. So the purpose of searching with the HTTP is that we're going to get links that are interesting. We're going to get links. We're not going to get just talk about the subject that we are we're researching. So K-12 technology trends and cloud computing gaming um, talks about the top six technologies over the next five years. It looks like an interesting article. Probably could get some good information from that. So I would just I would just leave that. I would probably check that out a little later. But that's a good article. I can also see the recency of it. So that's the other thing about Twitter is it's going to give you real-time research. So it's not going to give you months ago or years ago. You might find some old documents that someone's retweeted up. Um, but it will give you cur really current information. We're going to use something called Tweet Grid here. I don't want to overwhelm you too much, but what you can do here is actually create multiple uh, live search boxes of Twitter. So let's say we want Twitter and HTTP. So we want uh, to eliminate all of the, the tweets that are about Twitter. They don't have anything going on in them. So here we go. User Use Twitter list and get thousands of followers. Um, just spy, then report it. Uh, eco fashion tips, some interesting stuff. But uh, I also want to see what's going on in social media and education and, and, and in social media in terms of search. So I'm going to add that as a box. Then I'm going to go education and HTTP because I want to see what's going on in education. I can also use this to search out competitors. So BCIT or UBC or SFU or Langara. So anytime any of those things appears, it's actually going to it's going to it's going to bring all the tweets into that area. So So here we go. I'm just going to go search here and so we can have a look. It's going to be a lot of information. What I want you to do to judge this is judge when the last time uh, a tweet went out around that topic is. And you can refine your search so governmental So what it's going to do is going to eliminate any search, any tweets with governmental in them. So are you addicted to social media? Young people and iPhone users are more addicted. So that's interesting. Nine tips for getting started uh, from, from me and Enterprise City. So that's in some interesting information. Fundraising and social media. So there's some good stuff in there. Education, we can see uh, you know what's happening here. It's pretty broad. Uh, here's the technology integration and education. Very interesting. So uh, I might check that out. Um, and then over here we can see, oh, there's my, here's my tweet. Um, and it's been retweeted. So BCIT is getting a lot of, a lot of action here versus uh, UBC. And then we have also um, SFU um, and then UBC. Um, 
So there we are. Some interesting stuff there around what you can search for. You can leave this open. You can stop these. They will take up a little bit of your uh, of your internet uh, access as you leave them open. But you can always press stop, and it'll just stop uh, updating it so constantly. You can also change the settings in here. So you can choose the real time refresh rate um, if you wanted it to, to refresh every hundred uh, two minutes, let's say. Then you'd update the settings and continue to search. And it will, only every two minutes would it check and update. So here we are, we're at twitter.com slash widgets, as you can see. Um, we're gonna select our widget, we're gonna go for, for our website today. Uh, we can look for a profile widget and that'll display our most recent tweets. Uh, we can go for a search widget or a favorites widget or a list widget. Uh, today we're gonna be concentrating on the search widget because we wanna show you how you bring up information. This will show your favorite tweets and this will actually import a whole list of tweeters for you. So we're gonna look at the search widget and we're just going to put in here social media and HTTP. Keep it simple. Um, it's going to give us the most results the simpler we keep it. So uh, learning is fun. You can always just change these to whatever you want. Um, and they really just give your audience an idea of what's going on here. Um, so as you can see, we're still with the OMG. So we're just going to test settings and change it up. So there we go. 50 social media tips for nonprofits. Right away, a great little link comes up. So we're gonna change our preferences here. We can change it to load all the tweets. Uh, we can include a scroll bar if we want. Um, we can change the, the interval for the tweets. Um, do we wanna loop the results? Will they come, like, meaning will they come back? Uh, we can change the number of tweets if we want it to go higher. So I want it to go a little higher, I want it to go up 40. Do you wanna show avatars, ha timestamps, and hashtags? It's a question, right? So we can decide whether or not we wanna show this timestamp on the bottom here or have their avatar appear. If we get rid of the avatars, it'll uh, make it a little bit to cleaner uh, for people to uh, take in the data. And the timestamp, I like to keep that, and we'll show you why in a little bit. So the appearance, I like these colors, they fit, fit my website, but uh, we can always change them to anything we want. Uh, so that's a great little idea. Also, we can change the, the widget height and the widget width. So I like to have it nice and big because I'm gonna place it right in the middle of the page. Um, so a little note there, the widget size won't update in the preview. So now that I have everything the way I want it, preferences, settings, great. I'm gonna finish and grab the code. So this is where I just control C or uh, Command C to copy that. It's uh, just a blog that I use. So there I control paste, make sure it's an edit HTML version as opposed to front end composing. And then I can just publish the post. I could put a title, I don't even need to put a title. I'm just gonna publish the post. And so here it is. And every time someone accesses the page, it's gonna start again. Um, so I like to sometimes put these at the bottom. Um, but you can see here some great uh, some great data coming in already, and this is going to update as as the as the information comes in. So that's really what I want to show you today was just how to embed this little box on your site. Uh, so I recommend going back, trying some other things out. If you're not familiar with uh, with blogs, you don't have a place to embed this code. I, I suggest you go to blogger.com or wordpress.com and just start up a blog just to use for these purposes to put uh, this kind of information in here. Um, so yeah, enjoy and thanks a lot for joining me today.